Okay, so I'm going to label this color wheel. I'm going to press really hard so you guys can see it, but you guys don't have to write this hard. And now I'm going to trace my circle stencil. I'm just using a takeout bowl. And now I want to label my circle kind of like a clock. So uh, I need to find my approximate center. So I can do that by measuring out if I want or I can just like eyeball it. So I know mine's gonna be a little more than three and a half. I'm gonna say like right there, this way. And a little bit more than three and a half this way. So my center is about here. So there's 12 o'clock. And then directly across from 12 o'clock is six o'clock. And then I have nine o'clock and squeezed in over here, I have three o'clock. And then I want to space out my in between numbers. I have one o'clock, two o'clock. I want to sing like the rock around the clock now. We're going to rock, rock, two, three, four, four o'clock, five o'clock. I already have the six. Seven o'clock, eight o'clock. I already have the nine. Ten o'clock and 11 o'clock and this is just going to help us get everything spaced out evenly and this is not exact what we're doing we're just trying to get an idea my goal is for you to practice blending shades and hues and tints um, we're not building a building so this doesn't need to be like architectural proof correct All right, so here's where it can get ugly. My, my, the one I did first period was pretty, pretty ugly. Um, so now we want to create basically like a little um, pie for each section, each um, number on the clock. We're going to have a total of 12 pies because there are 12 parts to the pie pieces, 12 parts to the color wheel. So I'm going to start by um, trying to find the halfway point between my 11 and my 12, and then the halfway point between the 5 and the 4. And then I also want it to run through the middle. Oh gosh. That was really bad. Why did you let me mess up so bad?
Oh, that makes more sense. Between the 11, 12, and the 5, and the 6. Haha, <laughs> that's why it was so bad. I'm so sorry. Don't do that. There, my bad, guys. It should be between the 11 and the... That still is not looking great, though. And then you're going to rotate on either side of your number. Well, the good news is mine's going to make you feel really good about yours because the mine is so bad. Okay, that's better. Okay, so hopefully yours looks a little better than mine. My first period one was a little better. Supposed to look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That is not case for me. How are you? Just do the best you can, guys. I'm just thinking, oh my gosh, this is awful. I think the better way would be like this one. The width is going to be so much better. the video. There's a little video that Amanda's. Maybe you'll like that better than my demo.